Alright YouTube, so if you guys don't watch wrestling, you don't watch WWE, you probably have zero idea what the fuck any of this is, and even if you are a fan of watching it, you might not know the behind the scenes stuff, so let me fill you in. WWE superstar Enzo Amore was recently released by WWE. He was actually suspended Monday and fired Tuesday. This coming off the hills of a recent sexual assault and or rape allegation on Twitter. Now before we fully get into this, I just want to say that I'm not here to necessarily defend the guy. You can't really be on one side or the other till we have all the facts. You can't be like, oh, he's completely innocent even though we don't know anything yet. And you can't be like, well, he's completely guilty until we have actual proof. And the thing is, even right now, as I'm recording this video, a couple of days after he was actually fired by WWE, it is still just allegations. Nothing's been confirmed, and that's kind of why I want to make this video, because because of some allegations, he has lost his job. And don't get me wrong, if it comes out within the next few days that, yeah, he is guilty, he's confirmed a, a sexual predator, burn him at the stake. I don't give a fuck about the guy, he's a massive piece of shit at that point. But as of right now, it is innocent and so proven guilty, and this guy's future is fucked. Even if it comes out that he is innocent, he will always be painted in this light regardless. And that's why shit like this, these rape allegation type of stuff, bother me so much because people jump to the, the fact that the person is guilty 100%, they always believe the woman regardless, and it's not that I don't believe these women. But you gotta have some sort of proof or substantial evidence, and I don't even exactly know what that is, because I don't, you know, I'm not going around reading rape stories, I don't know how they find out that somebody is actually guilty of rape, other than like, I know like a doctor can kind of look at you and there can be damage and things, I, that's the only thing I can think of, but again, how does that even prove that Enzo did it? Because at that point, anybody can claim rape, I can say, I can say Enzo raped me and where's my paycheck, you know, pay me Enzo, like, how do you prove this shit? And look, these things obviously do actually happen. They happen with famous people. You can just look to like Hollywood over the past couple months. There's proof of that. Celebrities do this shit too. But almost as often as this shit is true, it is also fake. Females lie about this shit. They'll say that a dude did it and he never did. And they don't really face the charges, if any at all, that a guy would face for actually being guilty. Like if a guy is guilty of this, he goes down for years. But if a woman lies about it and it's found out, I don't even know if she faces jail time at all. But anyways, let's cover some information that we have for this story. So right here we have the initial tweet and allegation from Philomena. Okay, it's been long enough and I've been so scared to share this. I was raped in mid-October by the WWE Enzo Amore, also known as Eric Arden. And Tyler Grosso and Tupor let it happen as accomplices. No idea who they are, apparently there's somebody famous, I don't know. I was in a mental hospital for 45 days after it. They are not good people. The tweet was also accompanied with some pictures like text, you know, screenshots that you, you know, too long to tweet out. And it's a kind of graphic detail, but they also go on to say, or she goes on to say, like they, that night they did a bunch of drugs. They did some weed, meth, and coke. And that she used passed out, couldn't really respond on all those things. But my thing is, she has a very vivid recollection of what, apparently what happened, but I don't get how that's possible if you were this fucked up on drugs as you claim. So that was a bit of a red flag for me, because if you're this fucked up on these hardcore drugs, you really wouldn't remember anything. So right here we have a channel named I'm Sam Cook who actually was a former friend of Philomena the woman in this story and he made a video defending Enzo. The video is titled WWE's Enzo Amore's Innocent Receipts Provided and by receipts of course he means like screenshots and information and things like that. Um, he goes through, the video is like 12 minutes long but there is a lot of credible evidence in this video. The first message we're looking at right here from Philomena says, I met two poor and did coke with her, Tyler, and fuck their friend, the friend being Enzo in this case. And the other one is a message that says, Believe it or not, bitch, it happened and I'm laying in bed next to a famous wrestler. I don't know about you guys, but both of those messages seem to be bragging about the situation. I don't think I'd be messaging my friend and bragging about how I'm laying in bed next to a famous wrestler, about how last night I banged this person, if I was actually raped. These things sound like bragging to me. Sam also points out in his video that she knew she was going there to have sex. She was responding to a tweet by one of the people involved, pretty much asking who's trying to come suck some dick, and she was volunteering for that. She knew what the plan was going into it, and then now all this shit's happening. And I gotta say, after finding all this information, because I didn't know the entire story, I was just going into it to kind of discuss it, but after presenting all this information, I gotta say I'm on Enzo's side in the situation. She has zero proof, while there's all this proof showing that Enzo is innocent. The simple fact that she is bragging about it should be proof enough that she it was consent. Like that's all that should be all the proof they need at all. On top of that, having the screenshots of her knowing that she was going there for some sort of sexual activity, all these things point to it being consent in my eyes, and I think she's just trying to garner some popularity and get a paycheck out of the situation. 
And look, I'm not even really a fan of Enzo. He's actually a terrible wrestler, if I'm honest. Like, the act of him being fired itself doesn't bother me. I'm not really going to miss him. He's really good on the mic, but that's about it. But it's the things, it's the accusations. Him being fired because of simple accusations with no proof. It's also been discussed that he was let go by WWE for not letting them know about this shit since these allegations have been around since October. But even if that's the case, even if that's actually why he was let go, it all still wraps around to the fact that her accusations are what caused him to be fired. It's also been known that he is a handful behind the scenes in the locker room on the road, and this could have just been the final nail in the coffin, as some people are saying, that even if this shit isn't true, maybe WWE is just sick of fucking dealing with him. Who knows? And as I mentioned earlier, if it's proven that he is guilty of this, then good, I'm glad he was caught, and I hope he gets the maximum amount of time. But on the flip side of this, if it comes out that she is in fact lying about this shit, that she made all this shit up for really no apparent reason, then they need to make an example of her. She needs actual jail time. She needs to be severely punished because you can't just go around accusing people of rape. That is some serious fucking shit. And as I mentioned earlier, his life going forward from this moment is going to be fucked. And I don't want to see an innocent person's life ruined because of a simple tweet and a simple allegation with nothing to really back it up. I mean, he's already lost his job. Who knows what other things are going to happen to him going forward. I just hope we get a definitive answer here pretty soon. Anyways, my dudes, that's the video. Let me know your thoughts below. And if you went on to enjoy, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on my notifications. Follow me on Twitter at the Dashing David. Links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys. Give me a smile, give me forever for a while Give me forever for a while Quit acting like a bitch Or at least less like